How you doing YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews. Back with a little bit of side by side. Not just with beers, but with this motherfucker over here. Ah. That guy B. Keith from 93 Lumber. There you go. Look at him. He's a pro already. Uh, yeah. Uh, I've been saving these for Keith to come over. We're trying to do the relatively um, safe social distancing while at the same time doing joint beer reviews. Keith just started a beer review channel. He's probably best known for a couple different things. For being Keith, number one. <laughs> Uh, two, for uh, feeding me beers over the past several years. More importantly, kind of the guy who started Mystery Beers. Even though I'm the one who kind told of. you to do it. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of the guy who started them. Kind of. Yeah. Uh, so go check his channel out, 93 Lumber. I'll link it down below. Um, and uh, these come courtesy of my boy Max. He sent off a bunch of different beers. But these are two of that, uh, one, if these beers suck, then I'm just going to get angry and break shit. Um, and two, I know yeah. Keith would probably like... And that be OEC is their cool ship lager. It's their blonde versus their black. Seem like a little bit of perfect, you know. Keith is very much. I should flip these. He's dark. I'm light. Um, we'll see what's what. So we're talking about a cool ship lager, open fermented, 5.2% blonde over here from OEC Brewing. For those that don't know about OEC, what are they? What is it actually called? Um, or Ordinem Eccentria Cortez LLC. That's what OEC stands for. Because I know what that says. Uh, it says our cool ship lagers uh, brewed using a traditional double decoction mash in our copper kettle and uh, hopped with a fine European noble hops. After the boil, it rests in our copper cool ship for one hour. Uh, it is then transferred over to our battle it uh, cooler uh, down into open tanks for fermentation. After cool fermentation using a Czech lager yeast, it is lagered in cold temperature for several months prior to release. Um, and this basically says the same thing over here, except you're obviously dealing with a darker malt. Um, it is the, I'm assuming this is the same ABV, because I don't see it on here. I thought, uh, did you see it? I thought I saw it. 5.4, actually it's 2% higher in ABV. So there you go. A little bit richer malt, probably came off a little bit more, a um, little bit more kind of sugar involved in, hence the ABV difference, which is kind of cool. And basically it's the same level, uh, label, um, but it's inverted. So, let's see what's what. Let's give these a pour. So typically what happens when I open beers and pour them is I give myself <laughs> three quarters of the beer and Keith gets a quarter of the beer. I'll try to be mindful of this this time and leave him less than what I get. I'm gonna pour them awesomely too. Like the best pour ever. This is like just not even like half of the can is not even close to being good. So there you go, Keith. You got basically three quarters of can now, and I have this. Um, yeah, because I pour his beers awesome. Look at Keith. He's doing it like a pro. Actually, and here's all, all funniness aside. You gave me more dark lager. Like that. <laughs> that looks, I didn't mean for you to pour the whole goddamn thing. Oh. Um, this, uh, it actually looks like a nitro beer almost, the way it's kind of cascading down on it like it has this kind of not so much anymore but i, I have mean, different glasses so it's kind of hard to yeah compare that but. yeah but man they're pretty beers they are i mean over here you have unfiltered lager over here you have your essentially a schwarz beer open fermented keep that in mind throughout this whole review yeah besides my epically craptastic pours it's got an infinitely creamy head about four fingers you got about a quarter of a pinky finger over there <laughs> and uh yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's not a forehead, that's a seven head. <laughs> anyway, what do you think? What do you think when you look at it, Keith? I don't know. Look purry? Look at, looking at mine and looking at yours are two different things, obviously. different. No, glasses. they look exactly the same except for the head. Well, no, nah, this one looks fucking... That's like, because it's fatter and wider no, glass. No, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can, oh, yeah, I can, yeah. I can yeah, get, yeah. like, a little, like, uh, crimson Listen, red They're loggers. Brown. I brought logger glasses. <laughs> I'm not the asshole who brought those things. I gave those to you, by the way. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah. I mean, beyond the stupid pour that I did on these, because oh. it just looks pretty, man. There's already lacing on my glass because I'm a pour. Um, this is the kind of beer. Let's put it this way: these are the kind of beers that if if I had a crowler of this, I could slow pour this, and I'm pretty sure I can get the head of this beer to come about that far out of the glass before it start kind of tipping over. It has that kind of head going on. Yeah. Yeah. So. Well, anyway. So you can get a nose on this. That sucks, huh? Lager. But it has that little hoopspa of tartness. 
a little bit of open fermentation tartness. Yeah. Now, for those keeping score at home, open fermentation, a lot of people when they see and hear open fermentation, they automatically gravitate towards sour or gravitate towards super tart. While that is can be the case, a lot of old school lagers, a lot of old school beers were open fermented because they just, that's how they did things. You know, all of your Samuel Smith's beers are essentially open fermented and a lot of those aren't even close to being sour. So you can do a beer that is open fermented that's not sour, that just has a little bit more going for it. That's the case here. It's this cold fermentation open. Because when you talk about uh, open fermentation, you want to get this wild funkiness. You're looking at a specific degree you want to be in as far as temperature goes. This is probably a bit more controlled and not nearly as wild. They're not letting the outside um, uh, 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 inoculate it. They're probably just letting it just kind of cold ferment in a cool ship. I said in one of my videos that I have a hard time talking about beers that I like because I just want to drink them. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk. I just, I just want to drink. And that's, yeah. that's did you, what, did you that's, smell this one yet? No. Yeah. Let's that's smell. that's what this one smells like. Yeah. Uh, uh, what? What did you There's say? A, there's a malt thing. There's the slight uh, tart thing from probably the the open the open fermentation cool shit. It smells like something specific. But it, I can't put my finger on. But it it's it, it smells awesome. That that is awesome, and I want to chug it. But <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll soft uh, yeah, a nice a sweet maltiness in here. It's not like it's not gonna be wanting for um uh, uh, like it's not gonna be bone dry i don't think um there's a decent soft sweetness to it that tartness is the it's like on a scale of one to ten of tartness it's like 0.3 it's not even three it's 0.3 mm -hmm. so there's a, a that subtle yeah. kind of tartness to it and it just has this kind of and i know it's kind of an oxymoron when you say a tartness and cleanliness but it has a kind of clean lager that you expect but with that added chutzpah again we'll throw that out there of um of a soft little kind of extra extra it's not necessarily like wild ale it's not necessarily like a uh, mixed culture beer so yeah let's dive into the malty portion of the show oops this is awesome it's fine he's fucking <laughs> see this is why it sucks no this is exactly no, what i this, want schwarz beer yeah, to be yeah but this is this is like this is like epitome epitome is that the right word schwarz beer but it has that like cool shit little bit of tartness yeah i mean the tartness is probably similar to this one over here but the the roasted malts over here yeah. are big enough to where it kind of dumbs that down a little bit to where it doesn't it's come a, off nearly as 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 easily apparent yeah it doesn't really actually actually i should probably restate it doesn't come off as a tartness it comes off as for me I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's weird. It's. It comes so off. The tartness. The tartness for me comes off as. You ever eat one of those like Luden's lemon cough drops? Like the, they're not even cough drops. They're just fucking candy. But kids would eat them. They come in a white box and they rattle them around and they stick together and they cut the fuck out of your mouth. Um, if you ever eat one of the lemon ones, it doesn't taste like that because that's like super lemony. It's what that tastes like after you're done eating it. Like. Five minutes later so you have this subtle soft like remnant echo of that fucking luden's lemon cough drop in your mouth it's that it's not like it's not lemon but it's what or better put it this way it's 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 when you go to the shitty diner and they put the slightest spritz of lemon in your water but you can tell it's in there but it's not really in there are you talking about this one or this one both of them but oh. over here the roasted malts over here, this that tartness is the same exact thing over here, but the roasted malts are so much bigger that it dumbs it down and changes oh, okay. it. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, well, for me, it you're right, but for me, it's it's like I don't know, it's it's like different. I don't know. I don't know. Well, what about this? How about we drink them? Okay. Okay. Right. Cheers. Cheers. Wow, that's way more kind of like spicy peppery. Like it's got this kind of, that's more coriander to me. That's more like, mm. there's like this cool peppery thing going on with it. Is that coriander? No, I don't think lager. so. I think that's all from a yeast. Mm. 
That's yeah. super cool. It's almost like, let me rephrase that. I think I might be wrong. I, is this, are there fermenters wood? No, it says copper. I was going to say, because that could be like a wood tannin, because there's a dryness to it. And it's like a coriander, subtle, spicy, peppery thing, like a white pepper coriander mix with this infinite dryness to it. And I thought maybe, okay, maybe this is like in like a photo or something like yeah, that. Yeah, but it says it's cellared. It's, no, do, it's... Do you think they cellar it? Well, it's cellared in, in, in uh, copper fermenters. Uh, this is the... No, it's a, it, what oh, it is, is, is that it's the one? double decoction is what makes it as rich and as creamy as, as that. That's why it's... That's what it is. It's the double decoction of the beer. Um, that just makes it infinitely soft and creamy. This is this is horrible beer. This it, you should dispose of it. Yeah. Uh, just send an email, massivebeers@gmail.com. Yeah, or 93 lumber <laughs> at gmail. That's yeah. mm. spelled out. Why? That was available when you went to go get that email address. It was still available. Yeah. Who would have thunk it? Um. You know you can just go get the number one. And then just forward that one to the other one so you don't have to do that. You just. That way, you don't have to say that. You just be like, send a 93 lumber, and any way they do it, you'll just get it anyway. Oh, oh yeah. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is, yeah. yeah. Just, you just... No, what I'm saying is just go, go get the other one before it's gone, before you blow up. You come to this big YouTube, you know what I mean? It'll be like you. And... Oh, oh, right. Yeah, get it now before people go in, in uh, what do they call it, domain sit on you. They'll yeah. charge you $9 million for the email. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. So, you get a crisp, clean kind of locker awesomeness with yeah. this. And I know, again, oxymoron, you have the flip side of it where it has this creaminess, that richness, that pepperiness, that softness that I yeah. attributed to wood and all that stuff yeah. from the decoction. That's... Yeah, this, this taste... It's giving me the, um, we drank that Clara. It's giving me those oak vibes. Well, that's the thing. It's, it's giving me, me like an oak yeah. aged lager. Yeah. It's that fooder, that oak fooderness is what I'm getting yeah. in this without having that Man. be there. And I, I'm just assuming it's the decoction that's, that's really bringing that. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. I'm diving into, into the schwoz. Oh, wow. All right. Cheers. All right. Cheers. I like this one better. I'm a big Schwarz beer guy, and this oh. is really well made, but it comes off as more of a base Schwarz beer with me. It lacks that softness. It mm. lacks that little bit of pizzazz to it. It's still really well made. It's one of the better Schwarz beer I've had in quite some time, but this blonde version over here is oh. just so much better for me. This is awesome. Yeah. This this is awesome, but it is, yeah. It's, it's like saying, it's, it's, I won $50 million. <laughs> Miss Canada, I won $100 million. It's, you're not yeah. losing. You're not losing. <laughs> you're like, fuck, man, I didn't win $100 million. You're like, you got 50, yeah. dude. Relax. You won. You won. Pretty much. You won. Yeah. The, the yeah. gods are getting angry now that we're pissing <laughs> on the fucking, pissing on the black lager. They're like, God damn it. That makes sense. <laughs> that that happened. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, no, they're absolutely fantastic beers. Thank you very much, Max, for sending these off. And like, when I when you got when I got these, I was like, okay, I want Keith to drink these. They're obviously something that Keith's going to be into. And it did not disappoint. This is exactly what I wanted them to be. For the most part, there's a little bit of twists and turns with that softness and kind of oakiness I have over here with this one just being different than this one. I thought they were going to be mimics of each other. Um, only with this one having that roasted malt component over here, but it, it, they are quite different beers. This one's definitely cleaner than this beer over here. You, can even, you can't see it. You can see this one is clearer. Yeah. Um, even though it's a darker beer. They're both absolutely fantastic. And some of the best stuff. I, listen, I always see when you see Schlankler Eckler, uh, you see all those kind of old world kind of German beers. They pretty much come from from OEC, because uh, OEC is actually a, a, a subsidiary of B United um, Distributing. And those are the people that bring you the Ankler Schleckler, all that kind of stuff. Like if you see the Ankler Schleckler like, um, like a lager in cans, 
um, you typically would only see it in the bottles. The ones that come, you know, the doppel box come in those big bottles. Um, you would see the lager coming in. Well, now you see the lager come in cans. Well, the reason why you see it come in cans is because OEC or B United, instead of shipping bottles, they ship a tanker of the lager over here and they can it themselves. So they love these beers. That's how much they love them. They go out of their way to produce these kind of beers, get them here in the United States. Uh, you know, JW Lees is their product. They, they love old world beers. And then um, Matthias, the brewer, the owner of OEC and Be United, he's just a crazy maniac when he comes to these beers. So to have this beer not be stellar would be an absolute fucking crazy, weird fucking thing. And they're just great beers. This is what Keith and I really enjoy. And it's, it's, it's wheelhouse shit. Which one did you think you were going to like more going the, the into Schwarz this? Beer. Yeah. yeah, I Same thought, because I'm a Schwarz beer guy. And it's not so much that I like Schwarz beer better than base lager. It's kind of like Eddie Murphy had that joke in Raw, to where he's like, you know what I mean? He's like, you know, it, it, it was a joke about, uh, you know, sex, but he related to, um, you, know, uh, you know, if you haven't had sex in a while, he's like, any sex is good sex. Um, but if you have sex with the same person for a while, then it comes boring, and he related to a cracker he's like you know you eat a fucking ritz and he's like ritz is fucking basic but you know you're on a desert island for fucking five years you have a fucking ritz you're like this is the best fucking cracker i ever had in my life i have lager constantly i have schwarz beer several times a year not that often so when i go into a schwarz beer it's just it's that difference that variance that turns me on not necessarily that's a better beer i just expected it to be better because i don't have it as often that's why this is so much better is because I have this beer all the time, and this is better than all the ones that I have all the time. So yeah. that's why this one is that good. Again, yeah. winner, winner, <laughs> but this is just winning a bit better. You know what I mean? It's a very stiff competition, and that's fucking fantastic. Yeah. These are awesome. Yeah. There Thanks you go. for sharing these with me. Yeah. You got it, brother. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's talk about it. One of the better uh, lagers, yes, Mount Rushmore status. <laughs> one of the better Schwarz beers, yes. yes. Probably still close to Mount Rushmore status. This is this one's just that good. What about you? Yes. Same. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. Value availability. I mean, I, I I don't know. Max, please let us know. But knowing OEC, I think these are probably decently price point. I would hope so. And leave you with because they get distro. I just haven't seen them around here. And leave you with if you like what we like these. If you like auger. <laughs> if you yeah. like auger and Schwarz, <laughs> you're gonna like these. I mean, that's it. There's really. I mean, it's not like that's it. If you like this, no. If you like beer. If you don't like these, you don't like fucking beer. Hmm. Right? Yeah. If someone's like, oh, I love beer. These suck. Be like, no, you don't like beer. <laughs> no, no, you don't. Yeah. Uh, so, there you go. Thank you very much, Max. Thank um, you. Me and Keith are going to go to OEC when all this pandemic shit blows over and we're just yeah. going to get drunk on lager. We should <laughs> probably get like a fucking Airbnb for a week and just go there and drink <laughs> one beer. Like, go in there and be like, yeah, I'll take that beer and drink it all day and nothing else. And then come back the next day and be like, I'll take that beer again. Just sit there and drink it all day for five days. And they'll be like, what the fuck? Right now. Um, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, down there, if you want to talk about it, if you want to check me out, you know where I am. Massive beers. Type that in. What about you, Keith? Uh, 93 Lumber. You can check me out on YouTube. You uh, better spell that shit. Don't don't put that 93 in there. Oh, yeah. You spell it out because I thought it'd be funny or something. I forget. Numbers are dumb. Yeah. Numbers. That's it. Yeah. Math is hard and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and or, and or, I should say and. You should do both. Uh, follow me on Instagram at hashtag KiffLife, H-A-S-H-T-A-G-K-I-F-L-I-F-E. It's spelled out. October 10th today is. We'll see how long he waits until he makes an Instagram yeah. for, for this. Yeah. So he doesn't have to do that anymore. He's yeah. like, type a 93 lumber. You find me everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I have so many things. I, I just don't want to keep track of them. So hard. Switch account. I <laughs> wow, that was really fucking hard. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying some good lager yeah. right now. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.